mercy. We come to you this morning, oh Heavenly Father, thankful. Thankful that you put a breath of life in us to this morning, oh Heavenly Father. But we know someone else, oh Heavenly Father, didn't have this opportunity. So we're grateful and thankful, oh Heavenly Father, that you called upon us one more time. We come to you this morning, oh Heavenly Father, thankful for your son Jesus, who died on that cruel cross on Calvary. We're thankful for the death, we're thankful for the burial, we're thankful for the resurrection. We're thankful, Lord, that he rose with our power, Lord, and he still lives. We come to you this morning, oh Heavenly Father, just thankful. Thankful for every man, woman, and child that is in this place, oh Heavenly Father. We're thankful, Heavenly Father, that you allow us this place, oh Heavenly Father, that we can come have fellowship and worship you and glorify your name, oh Heavenly Father. We're thankful, Heavenly Father, that for all that you have done and all that you are doing. But most of all, Lord, we are thankful that you have already things in store for us, Lord. But we come to you this morning, Heavenly Father, thankful for our family and friends. We're thankful for the roof of our heads and for the beds that we lay. We thank you for the clothes on our back and for the shoes on our feet. We thank you, Lord, for providing supply to each and every one of our needs, Lord, even though we're unworthy of all that you have done and all that you have store. But we're thankful, Heavenly Father, that you're so gracious and so kind and so merciful, Lord. And we're here, oh, Heavenly Father, because we seek your grace and your mercy. We come to you this morning, oh, Heavenly Father, asking prayer for the sick, oh, Heavenly Father, asking prayer that you strengthen them, oh, Heavenly Father, that maybe one day they can come back into this place and have fellowship with us once again, oh, Heavenly Father. We pray for the man of the hour, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you crown a crown of wisdom, Lord. crown his head with wisdom, Lord. Yeah. Put the, him in the shoes of John, oh Heavenly yeah. Father, that he stands up here and proclaim your name once again, oh Heavenly yeah. Father. As we listen to his words, oh Heavenly Father, as he diligently seek and practice and excuse me. Practice and study, oh Heavenly Father, your word faithfully and honestly and truthfully. Yeah. We pray for this congregation. We pray for the ministry, Lord. Yeah. Pray that you continue to bless every man, oh, Heavenly Father, as they continue to guide and lead the, our women and children, oh, Heavenly Father, to what you want us to be, oh, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. I pray, Heavenly Father, not only for myself, oh, Heavenly Father, not only for my brothers and sisters of Christ, but we also pray for our family and friends. We pray for those who are lost, oh, Heavenly Father, yeah. for we know that the enemy is at hand, oh, Heavenly yeah. Father, and we know that there is lost yeah. souls that are out there, oh, Heavenly yeah. Father, that we need to reach. But I pray right now, Heavenly Father, for every man, every woman, every child that is in here now. Right now, Heavenly Father, for we all are going through something. We're all struggling, Heavenly Father, whether it is financially, at home, or on our job, oh, Heavenly Father. Whether it's just spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or physically. I pray, Heavenly Father, and confirm that you are God, oh, Heavenly Father. That you are a healer, that you are a comforter, that you are a provider, Heavenly Father, and forgiver of all sins. I pray, Heavenly Father, that we put you first and foremost this day for it, oh, Heavenly Father, that we may be the best that you call us out to be. Not only this day, oh, Heavenly Father, but the rest of the week. Continue to protect us from hurt, harm, and danger as we seek you, Lord. And these things we believe in and trust in your son, Jesus' precious name. 